Hey Heidi, are we celebrating Easter this week? Oh, absolutely. Even though we're going to be closed on Sunday, um, we're, uh, uh, some of us are decked out for Easter. So why don't we take a look and see what we have for the lineup this week. Instead of doing just six wines that are per usual, uh, we're actually featuring seven. I know it's usually mutiny on the bounty when I have two wines that are chilled. So I threw in an extra one to make everybody happy. So uh, starting off with the 2010 Vintage, this is the Bodegas M Albarino. Albarino is a grape varietal that's very low yielding, so it's not always an attractive grape for people to, um, to plant. The winemaker here discovered that Edna Valley was a very good region uh, to plant Albarino, so he went ahead and planted about a decade ago. So this is the second vintage that we've had of the Bodegas M Albarino, and it's absolutely delicious. Really nice, refreshing. It's got um, some upfront fruit. Uh, it's not sweet like a Riesling, though, because it also has some nice acidity that makes it perfect. I know a lot of you will be entertaining for Easter, so you need some you need some um, wines that are going to be crowd pleasers that will uh, satisfy the novice drinker and also the expert. So this is really a great aperitif. Um, we're moving on to the Acrobat Pinot Noir. This is a dry rosé. Just because it's pink doesn't mean it's sweet, unless it's me. Uh, so this uh, rosé of Pinot Noir is a dry rosé. Um, this is the companion label to King Estates out of Oregon. You're going to get some nice watermelon notes on the nose and um, strawberry raspberry on the palate, but don't think it's going to be free forward because it's not. It's got, again, that nice backbone of acidity. I absolutely love this wine, and this is going to be the perfect weather, perfect season, and usually what uh, our traditional items on the Easter table, this is also going to be very good. We've gone back, and we're reintroducing the Rojo. This is a our best value on the wine tasting this week at $11.99 a bottle. This is 100% Garnacha. It's more fruit forward, but it's super easy drinking. Um, if you were outdoors, you could certainly put a chill on this. It just brings the fruit a little bit forward. It's wonderful. Another crowd pleaser is our Shiraz Cabernet Blend. This is the Charlie's Blend. 85% uh, excuse me, 85% Shiraz, which is the same grape as Syrah. Uh, and 15% Cabernet Sauvignon. The addition of Cabernet Sauvignon keeps this from being overly jammy and that just big kind of bombastic um, Shiraz that we often get coming out of Australia. Then we're moving on to the Dubose Syrah. Um, we featured this one before and just thought we'd bring it back. It's absolutely wonderful. You get nice dark fruit. It's fuller bodied. Um, you get some nice herbal sage characteristics in this wine, both on the nose and the palate. So if you're doing something savory, if you're doing lamb, anything savory, if you're grilling, that is going to be a perfect wine for your Easter celebration. Then we're moving on to the Chroma. Um, the Chroma is Cabernet Sauvignon, and that actually comes out of Paso Robles. Um, this is got some nice tannin structure. It's a little bit more structured without being over the top. Um, black cherry plum, you get some cedar oak notes on this particular wine. Um, and I think it's a, um, it's priced at $23.99 a bottle, so this is a nice when you're sitting down for dinner. Um, the other one, last one we have is the 2010 uh, vintage of the Waterstone Cabernet Sauvignon. This is more Bordeaux-esque. It's um, majority Cabernet Sauvignon blended with 11% Merlot and 1% Cabernet Franc. Um, we've always enjoyed the, um, the structure, the characteristic, and the style of the Waterstone uh, wines are absolutely wonderful. Definitely more elevated, and again, that Bordeaux style, they're trying to capture that. Um, black cherry, blackberry, plum, cassis, um, and you get some nice toasty oak on that as well. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, for those of you that are fretting over Easter baskets for adults, I've got a nice little selection of some really nice items. If, um, oops. You know what we forgot? Hold on just one second. Truffles! Uh, so for those of you that like sweets, we do have the best truffles in town. Um, uh, the Le Grand Confection, lots of flavors. We can have, uh, we've got boxes that are pre-assorted for you or you can, you can pick what you would like. 
Um, we've got, uh, for those of you that do not want chocolate, um, because you're watching a calorie or two, we've got some great little gifty items. We've got candle holders, we've got wine stoppers, um, I've got these great kitchen towels that are very versatile, with, that are wine themed. We've got some napkins uh, that you can put in an Easter basket. Um, we've got alternatives to Easter baskets if you're just going to do a bottle of wine. We've got these um, the chill bags that you put in the freezer. They're absolutely wonderful. And you can take them with you when you're going to a concert in the park or even if you're just um, enjoying a bottle of wine in the afternoon and you don't want to get a bucket of ice. Um, we've got my other suggestion because we featured Zinfandels a couple of weeks ago. I've got some other suggestions for um, uh, for gift giving for Easter. We've got a wonderful Riesling. Riesling is, is a great wine uh, for this time of year. This is the urban Riesling from the Mosul region of Germany. We've got um, the Ancient Peak Zinfandel, which has got kind of that classy, spicy jamminess um, that I think is really nice. Zinfandel is always great if you're serving ham. These two wines go really well. And who doesn't love a good Riesling? Um, and don't forget your bubbly. Bubbly is not just for uh, special celebrations, anniversary, birthday, and New Year's Eve. Um, and so we've selected the Sharp and Murder, but we have a really nice selection of domestic and import. And then don't forget about our beer selection. Cooper's done a really great job uh, with our beers. Last but not least, we have, uh, I'm putting together a wine dinner with Randall Graham. Um, he's the legendary winemaker of um, Bonnie Dew Wines. We've featured him before. He will be here live in, in the flesh. I'm uh, securing the date. So by next week video, but um, we're, uh, well I don't want to, I don't want to throw a date out there. This is going to be my best wine dinner ever. So stay tuned. We'll put something out as soon as we get our date confirmed. We hope to see you at the wine shop this week um, with a celebratory attitude for our Easter. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Patio's perfect. Um, and uh, everybody's looking forward to ser serving you. And we'll see you soon. Everybody stay healthy and stay happy. Thank you. Bye-bye.